Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Fuzzy Knob here. Uh, I've been doing some reverse engineering lately, and uh, I've been reading the Practical Malware Analysis book, uh, which is really good. And uh, there is a script out there that is mentioned in the book, and what it does is it colors things for you in Ida Pro so that things look better. Um, and it's easier to see where calls are and where certain uh, instructions that you might be interested in are. So, uh, by the way, if you don't have the book already, go get it. Seriously, it's really awesome. Anyways, the script's super helpful, and it's so helpful that I kind of depend on it. So, I sort of wanted it to run every time I started up Ida, but uh, by default, like, it couldn't really work like that. So, let me show you. This is the original color Ida script, and... Uh, this heads uh, variable uses this uh, screen EA. Sorry, I'm a bit tired right now. <laughs> Shit. And the uh, screen EA doesn't work if you're running it with a script. So Ida has a dash S argument that you can give it and specify a script. And for some reason, I don't know why, it just doesn't work. So I have modified the script to just do this and populate through everything. So the, uh, I don't know, it doesn't take that much longer, so it's not really a too much of a problem. And everything works with the coloring everything on startup. So I'll post a, a link to the script on Pastebin or something like that and throw it in the comments. Uh, the other thing I did was I added a context menu option, and you do that just by going into regedit. And, and what I mean by that is, like, if I Here we go. If I right click here, you see I have these extra context menu options. One of them is like open with uh, IDA32. So basically, what you want to do, and I've already sort of done it here, is go under H key classes root, under the asterisk, under shell, and make it a new key. And you do that just by going right click, new key. Then under that, right click again on it and go new key so that you'll have two keys here. You want to name the top one whatever you want it to be and the one underneath it, call it command. In the value here, go ahead and put the path to Ida, which uh, I'm going to grab from here real quick. So it's the path to Ida. Uh, I'm going to take the quotes out. It actually works fine, just no quotes and then dash capital S and then no space in between and the path to your script. Mine is in C colon, yeah, C colon auto color ida .py. And then percent one uh, needs to be at the end and that basically is just a placeholder for whatever program you're going to be running. Go ahead and click OK. And just to show that this works, let me grab some binary. I don't know. This. Right click, use my test one. Ida opens up normally. As it opens up, the script also runs. Now you can see that I have this fancy color highlighting here. And, you know, my whole color scheme is probably different than yours, but, uh, I have fancy color highlighting here. Down here, there's output, uh, anti-VM potential here. You can double click, see how it highlights that. So that's about it. I uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, until next time, see ya.